Good day everyone. Learn how to increase the Wi-Fi speed on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Whether it's a desktop or a laptop, it will work. The process will remain same. It is very easy to do so and make sure you watch the whole tutorial and you will be able to do it yourself. So here in the start icon, do a right click first and then go to run and type N C P A dot C P L. I'll maximize it so that you can type it. N C P A dot C P L. Once you have typed it, click on OK. You will see a window like this, and here, whether you are using Wi Fi or Ethernet, you can do at least one step if you're doing Ethernet. If you're using Ethernet, you can do this step, and the rest of the steps will be specially focused on Wi-Fi speed. But the first step will work for Wi-Fi and Ethernet both. So here I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'll just do a right click on that and I'll go to properties. And a new window will appear like this. Now we need to select the internet version, uh, protocol version four. We will select that and we will go to properties. And from here, we can simply select the Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. So the Cloudflare DNS will be 1.1.1.1 and you can also use the alternate DNS server. You can check it on Google. It is very easy. You can try that. But the best is you can try Google, see how exactly it is. For most of us, this works better than internet service provider. Now the next step is only for Wi-Fi users because we are increasing we are trying to increase the Wi-Fi speed and I'll tell you why all the steps are being taken. So first I'll select the Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP and then we need to click on configure and we like to proceed and a window will appear like this general advanced driver details and events. So we will go to advanced tab and here you will find many options and here make sure dual band is selected look for channel width channel width for 2.4 gigahertz select auto channel width for 5 gigahertz select auto and then we will select the preferred band and here preferred band should be 5 gigahertz band you can select that and then move to the next step which is roaming aggressiveness you can keep it medium because you do not need the medium or medium high just keep it medium and it will be better all right so once you're done with this you just need to click on oh, okay and you need to restart the computer right now once you click on that it will be disabled for a while and then it will turn back on and you might have to connect to your wi-fi currently it is connecting and it is automatically connected now but if you have unchecked that automatically connection then you need to connect to your wi-fi again you can also turn off the router and turn it on this will make the changes effect and then try to browse your browser i mean open your browser and see the difference how's the performance how's the browsing speed and you will definitely see a change do let me know in the comment section whether this tutorial is helpful or not if yes please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day take care